Hi, I'm Shinny Somara and I'm a mechanical engineer and I love finding out about how things work and learning about the latest technologies, like this replica Bloodhound speed car. It's being developed to break the 1,000 mile per hour speed barrier and if it does, it will set a new world land speed record. Now we want you to build your own car powered by a balloon. It may sound difficult, But look how much energy is stored inside it, just by blowing it up. Over 300 years ago, Sir Isaac Newton calculated that every time you make an action, like pulling or pushing, you also create an equal and opposite reaction. This means that the force of the air leaving a balloon causes an equal force in the opposite direction, which can be used to drive your car forward. The jet engines and rockets on the Bloodhound work on the same principles, just on a much bigger scale. The Bloodhound car will be powered by a rocket that provides 120 kilonewtons of thrust and a jet providing 90 kilonewtons of thrust. Thrust is the force that moves the vehicle forward. It's used to overcome the weight of the vehicle and the drag. Hi guys. Hi. Hi Shelley. So, how are we going to power these cars with balloons? Well, there were lots of different elements that we had to consider when we were designing our cars. So we had to look at the mass of the car, the thrust that we needed to push it forwards, the materials, and also the friction of the wheels. Wow, so many things to consider. Yeah, so we had to bring all of these things together to see how we could get the best performance of our car. And I guess you had to really keep the weight down as well, because there's only so much power that's in the air. Yeah, basically we used very common things around the house. Um, such as straws and coffee cups and these plastic reels to try and keep the weight down so the air can really push it forward. So clearly your understanding of air is key here, but do you actually use it in your day jobs? Uh, yeah, we do. Um, for example, in this fan, we draw air in using a motor at uh, high speed, which compresses it inside here and forces out this tiny little gap, which creates really fast high speed air. Would you like to try it out? We'll Definitely. Go for a race. Let's go race them. Things can all win it. I don't think mine can take the weight of all that air. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Woo! Come on, Pink. Yes! <laughs> wow. <laughs> mine hasn't gone very far. <laughs> At least ours met in the middle. Yeah, mine didn't go very far, unfortunately. <laughs> cool. Now, if you think that's impressive, you should see what Tom's been up to. He's going to take it to the next level. Wow, Tom, that looks so different from the car I've just raced. What have you done? Well, we've added larger wheels, a bit more weight, but what we've added here is water to the propulsion method. Water? Why have you done that? Well, water has a lot more density, which will apply a lot more force. So I'm really excited to test this one out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Gosh, I think that definitely met the challenge, right? I am very wet. Even if it did get really wet. <laughs> so are you ready to build your very own balloon-powered car? We've created some useful information to help you. Just go to our website and download the challenge card. Once you've proved that your car is a real competitor, take a photo of it or a short video and share it with us. Get downloading now. We can't wait to see what you come up with. <laughs>